Thanks for stopping by. You may have seen my postcard on the internet or maybe YouTube. I wanted to share with you how I approach the homes that that did not sell. It's called expired listing. Um, sometimes for sale by owners who don't end up selling. How I approach it. So the first thing is I I take this as like troubleshooting what went wrong in the past the previous listing how did they market it what kind of activity that they had that will give me a good indicator indications of like what to do next creating excellent online presentation because pretty much everybody looking online looking at the photos and videos before they even come and knock on the door or bring their buyer's agent to see it. That's really important. Second thing I do is focus on the strength of the property, not negatives. It's obvious one, but you'll find a lot of these listings have not attractive photos listed. I don't understand. And persistent marketing, our job does not end after putting it on the market. There's going to be like constant monitoring of the activity getting the feedback from the show, showing agents and making necessary adjustments so that the next buyer, when they walk in through the door, that problem, hopefully it's something that we can solve. If not, we'll have to find something else. Persistent marketing and making that necessary adjustment too. We do at least a minimum once a week seller update and typically we do more, more than that based on the open house feedback, agent feedback after showings so that we can make the necessary adjustment. And then the other thing is I turn every stone. So we're, we cover every facets of the buyer's traffic so we don't left out any buyers, any potential buyers. Network with the top selling agents in the Portland market uh, because you know, a lot of times they're the one who bring the buyers for our listing. So I make it super easy for them to show. I try to be as a polite and nice and make it easy for them to communicate with me so that it's easier for them to make an offer too, right? So I think that's really important. I don't have to be macho -y, tough negotiator type in order to attract the best offers. I don't, we don't. So um, sometimes I, you know, yeah. Um, I, just try, I just try to be nice to the other co-op agents and that's going to benefit my clients. And I've been selling since 2008. I've been through the market crash. Um, it was a tough time for a few, few years to, but I learned the ropes during that time and I believe that really benefited me uh, to become a better realtor. The last thing is our commitment to provide excellent customer service. We want to do better tomorrow than today. So that's it. Um,